What's up guys, TechnoGamer here, and welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team gameplay, and today, this is probably going to be a shorter one, I'll probably play one game, maybe two, but I'm going to be using the Steve McNair, I know he's been out for a little bit now, but this is my first time um, coming back from spring break. This is probably just the best quarterback in the game, you know, um, incredible abilities across he gets the best four in the game and then indoor baller which I like to use to get Omaha on faster um, if you I, I'm using the line stadium which is a dome stadium that's the reason I'm using indoor baller if it wasn't if you if your home stadium isn't um domed then you might as well just use like homer or something like that um closer i'd probably say homer if your home stadium isn't a dome stadium but anyways i have made it to the Super Bowl and head-to-head -head seasons, and that's what I'm going to be trying to win today. Try to claim all, yeah, claim that real quick, and let's go. Probably trying to get me a tough opponent for the Super Bowl, that's why it's taking so long. Alright, here we go. Alright, the challenge is in front of you. Do you accept it? I hope so. Keep the game on. Play the challenge. It's solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. A fairly short kick from the 14. Yeah, well, and he like tackled just shy of the 25. To throw right away is Vic. He's going to complete to Glenkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. I did the challenges so with the uh, Team Diamond, Palomeo, so I um, had two 6 4 users in the middle of the field. Vic will really happy to throw about it. First down. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. To throw again on second down. Vic, this one left Boom. side caught by Patterson. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the I hate that dude for Daryl Patterson. So the Lions going with an extra DB here on third ability to get his to himself. Not really just bow nose, but for free. Vic readies to throw. I thought, you know, I this guy actually I didn't realize he was doing that, but I honestly was just assuming my hard flat would play that, but I guess not. 
It'll be Vic once more. Uh, now the fact that he just made Jefferson. that play is insane. Oh my god. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket. Able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells their offensive. Try to force it to he didn't think I was going to run with that the whole way, but ooh, ooh, oh my gosh, the whole thing. Here is they force the opening drive turnover. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. An indoor baller did go off. So look at that. We only need to complete four passes or five or more yards to get Omaha. That is crazy. Like that ability becomes so much easier to activate and so much faster. It can make a difference like later, sooner in the game. They run with Edwards. Uses the stiff arm. A solid stiff arm. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. I plan on getting full use out of Gus the Bus's freight train, so I'm gonna keep running until I'm in a non-running spot where the thing goes off. Oh my god, what a block. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Also, does someone have no outsiders on the left side who is just shredding all the blocks every time? I think that might be, yeah, Carl Banks. He keeps doing a spin animation. That's not really doing anything. That's to be true. So it's a rhyme and still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. Alright, let's go Air McNair. I have no fear. I'm, I'm out to truck someone on this play. If I fumble, I fumble. And some good tangling there as he stopped. His inside stuff is able to snag me there. No score after one on EA Sports. Stuff from absolutely nobody. He's a secure tackler. Up the middle, it's Edwards. Just me. Just me again. Uh, a solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. I didn't rock him on the first try with Freight. He hasn't got season. Unless he has a secure tackler. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up a third and one. 
help or should have run this as no outsiders, even though he's been <laughs> shutting it down every single play. I'm fearless. Maybe let's go. Let's He'll go. try and run for the first with Edwards. Uh, and nice this is not paid to be fearless. As he stopped behind the line, he loses four, and it brings up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. I, I really, really believe this is man coverage. On fourth it's down, not. McNair. Oh my god, where's my red zone threat? I kind of feel like I just got screwed on that one. The Lions turned away on fourth down. I made a play call against man coverage. And paid for it. They go back to the air here after the INT on the drive. Oh man, I'd, I'd like for that to be a fumble. Damn it, now I'm really pissed I can take a field goal. I'm just gonna have the press Grant Kowski here, I think. A first down from coming thing. for Vic. Being chased out loud. Yeah, Nothing that. open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Throwing again on second and ten. Vic got a man. Let's go. And this is scooped up by the Lions. Palomeo. Palomeo ain't playing around, dude. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him. And tell him everybody to get it together. Oh my god, I that, uh, I'd love for that to be a catch right there. Maybe this is the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well they've gone interception, now fumble. And incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. Now McNair. No, what am I doing, dude? I didn't I just didn't. Don't give him a test on a fixed yeah, I'm, I'm selling this game right now. It just took a little bit too long to get open. Luckily for me though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense, and we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Where's my knockdown? I that he just threw that dead at two zone knockout. Not only did it not get knocked out, not a single one of them lit up. The game is way too bipolar with that stuff. Do you see how bipolar they are? He just threw that to a guy who was in man coverage and threw it at two zone knockouts that both made contact with him while his feet were still off the ground and it's not a drop. Here's Michael Vick. Flush to his right. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh my god. I don't know why he called a timeout there. I should just be letting him take his three. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Vic, and he'll complete this one in Patterson. He knows better. Uh, yeah, you can just take the three, buddy. Well, that's really, really frustrating. But it is what it is. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. These offenses... Okay, you know what? I'm going to get a kick turn here. The honestly. first half, 3 nothing our score as the second half gets underway. Here we go. 
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The fact I haven't scored yet just makes me want to cry. Man. Look at that place. Okay, I'm not going to work. And as we know about here in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays Oh, good good pass, let's go. But he said we use them to start the second half and get us going. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Maybe I should actually run to the right for us. To the right side, this is Edwards. Okay, I feel like I just got kind of screwed. I have freight train, I juked him. It said user juke, and it's not even a broken tackle or fake out. Like, like... On the handoff, tackle battles with freight train on are the most stupid things. Like, why am I not just getting like a clean broken tackle? Here's McNair. To the Plays the beam. The catch and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. 23 yards on the play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner. But a juke move and then I didn't have to do anything. This is Carl Banks right here. Right? And all he has is no upside. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Which means this right here is the Dude! Alright, you know what? Who oh, just no, 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 let EA force him to stay in the same defense? At least we have to blow a timeout or something else. Yeah, you got to. Look at that pass. Marquise Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. This is Edwards. You know, I'm surprised Kyle Dupchek actually blocked someone there. He never seems to want to do that. Lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Another example of just a dominant performance by this defense. Yeah, you hear all the time about teams that try to steal signals from the other side and try to learn their signs and their tendencies. Again, this looks like man coverage, but is it? Yeah, it has to be. There's no way it's not. Like no. Yeah, it is. For sure. <gasps> no! I was about to have Omaha on and now I'm not gonna have it because of that. That's so frustrating, man. Oh my gosh. It's wide open as well. And we see yet another Aaron Thrones result. Out of the gun, it's McNair. Please be in bounds. Oh my god, this game is so annoying. Like what do I have to do to not get screwed? Oh my god, now he's just glitz blitzing, of course. On fourth down, McNair. Yes, sir. Thank you. That make up roll that BS has been having me. Right now. I just had to throw that against the glitch blitz. Straight ice. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Let's go. Let's get one more stop. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. Take it at the 15, a short kick. Oh my gosh, that was such a good opportunity to uh, Dante Hall. Are you kidding me? The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. But it's offense. They've got an opportunity right now to take that lead. Right They're picking Clay. Let's go. It's like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just already in our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. To throw once more on second and ten. Vic. And this is caught. First catch. Oh, I would out. love that hip pump right there. Down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. Vic operating on first down. Oh my god, that's so close to being picked off that big drop. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Again, it's Vic. Oh my god, Reggie White, pick that off, please. I know you're a D-line, but that was thrown right to you, man. He's going to press Gronkowski, it's my only option, and then guard this other loop. Vic now. Yes, sir, look at that. That's how it's done right there. Oh my god, that's so close to the pick. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that's a knockout. Wait, what? My, you're telling me my 99 speed cornerback couldn't get to that? That's it. And look at that. Why is, look how deep down the field is. Who is that? Number 32, Marcus Williams. Look how deep down the field he is. Like, he can't just play that if he's going to run all the fun anyways. I don't get that. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Pick it off. Man. Zone, but it's incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. Yes, sir. And this is gonna be Finally, a zone knockout works with me. Wait, that. So the play results in no game. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. 19 play. 19 play. 19 play here. They'll throw again. Here's Vic. Over the middle. Yes, sir. Fourth down. And they're able to call no huddle, really. I don't think about it. Don't call here. First down. Double check on paying everything underneath. Desperation time. Vic on fourth down. Really? That's just not open at all. And now we gotta score again. Look how much momentum he just got them screwing me over. Like I I I do like the momentum feature in these games, but they just they gotta take it out if someone's gonna get that much momentum for getting lucky. 
it's, it's just not fair, man. Oh my god, that was not open. I'm fourth down? Are you kidding me? I'm sick to my stuff. Dude, that's fucking funny. And he's gonna get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. I would have Omaha on right now if I think it's screwed over. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. Cool. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Stay, stay. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another they're first down. They're throwing a lot of timeouts. They saw going into this one. They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Edwards now on first and ten. Dude, I just can't get the double team and off on Bates. Now I get my guy to hold his block. So He's like a double team to it or whatever. Wide open. <laughs> Why don't they get the Gus the Bus X back on that one? That would have been really helpful. I don't think he had any inside skills to let him run over him. Yeah, look at the blocking. No, Carl Bank. Carl Bank is just my kryptonite right now. Oh my god. Let's go third down. Two Let's go three yards. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47-yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. He'll look to throw. Let's go here, McNair. Thank God, because I hate to admit it, but this dude just played perfect defense on that play. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. Or what I had on the field at least. He played perfect defense to stop my routes. At this, with how this drive's going at this point, I'm going to have to milk the rest of the time basically the best I can for a score. Okay, I'm sick to my stomach. Was that Kyle Hughes who just ran right by him and didn't block him? Yeah, like what are you doing, dude? Why are you moving to the second level before the immediate people are taken care of? There we go. Look at that blocking. That's how it's done. 56 yards rushing for now in the ball game. And turning to a clock off just for a second. So I might need to set up my play a little bit. Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. So first pair, we're going to try and scramble in there here. Back to throw. I think I got it. Yes, sir. Look at that. It's one of the strongest quarterbacks in the game, I believe. Alright, yeah, let's go right here. Pick and block. Well, there were decent blocks. They just evaporated, I guess. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, let's go. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. I gotta run this play on first line. First two. He's gonna run commit, guys. He's run committing to the right. So maybe a halfback dive left will get work. They'll run here with Edwards. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I could tell he was run committing because he was over on the cornerback. He was the plan was to run commit, then guard the slant route himself and have the entire play taken care of. But fortunately for him, I was able to read it with identifier. 
Taken at the 15, a short kick. No, we just don't give up a touchdown in seven seconds. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And that, that was his play call, really. Had, like, was that halfback base? Let's go! I think that's the best. He, he definitely deserves to be Super Bowl in the game this game. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. The only thing that sucks is I'm only in veteran leagues, so I'm not going to get uh, many great rewards to this, but... I'm so happy it's a Super Bowl win. I think here he's gonna show us some of the highlights. What a game. Alright, let's check out these rewards real quick. Two trophy packs and a midfield pack. Damn. Okay. Well, the name is correct. That was a very mid trophy pack. Right. Ooh, Redux. 89 Redux, that's a fucking disappointment. Not, that was a terrible pack right there. AKA, AKA. Oh my god, it's an 88. Hey, wow, those were terrible. Usually I sell those cards for coins that I get out of those trophy packs, but. We're actually going to, um. Quick sell them and open training variety packs because that was terrible. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had Emmett Smith. Wait, I'm hanging on to sell him until he's out of packs. If I put this in the 70 to 71 core rookie player, I'd shoot myself. I'm waiting to see if his price goes up after, um. He's out of the train variety packs. Ooh, Redux! Spinatary! Quick selling him. Oh, let's go. I, I love getting the purple strategy items. It's a lot of coins right there. Blue ones, I mean, they're not terrible, but obviously I prefer the purple and gold ones. Well, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, I'm happy I was able to win the Super Bowl, and I'm going to get right into the next one. Um, there we go. Crap. I'm trying to play one more game of the next season. I'm like eight competitive pass points away from getting the 92 plus Legends player, and I'm hoping I get something good out of that whenever I do. Maybe just 
96 something, I don't know. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gaudner. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And then, uh, it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Oh my god, I was so close to that. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't believe I didn't lose that. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and ten at the first and ten. They can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight. I have three inside stuffs and two no outsiders on the line. So I should be getting insane run stops. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about that. No the problem. Air. He's maybe stay with the right hand. And the games. They'll look to throw here on first down. Don't take a hit the power nail. Man, I can't believe I'm this hit stick that one. Steve. To knock some fatigue into the very least. Still a few inches short of the first down as they come up now on second down. Throw here. Good pass. <sighs> Usually you catch those out of bounds, but good pass. And I have problems against the run, even though I just said I shouldn't. But I Close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point by Gain is up and good, and it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Oh my god, where did he even come from? Oh my gosh, I have been the best blocking ever on the field. That dude has all he has to learn. I gotta double team John Madden if he's not gonna get touched or anything. See, that's a little bit more like it. And a nice run past the 30 yard line there. That was really nice. I'll take it. To throw, McNair. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to call my Fred Warner. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. Ooh, he's wide open. I almost caught him. But... Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Who is on Andrews? Oh, he's user. Oh, no, it's cover three. That's why. I, I was extremely confused by what that was. Ah, well, now he has film study. That's great. Now 
McNair looking for a first down throw. <sighs> no, I was out of I want to run the ball and play it and give it a full study. Great confidence, great skill. They'll go again here from the 10 yard line on second and goal. Running left is Edwards. And it's freaking blocked. Get off me. Gus Edwards, a 10 yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Seven seven here is the kicks away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. No matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show them. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. It is again. This down inside the 30. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to Can't fool as Omaha now. You think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. They go. They thought they were doing something. Yeah, I'll take that. And we're in complete thing. Else. Who's the X factor? Line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Yes, sir. Let's go. Who is just throw that? Got caught up on everyone. Dude, like, that's not a zone knockout. It's game. It's pretty adorable. have taken the lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They trail a one score deficit 14 7 as they come up first and Good 10. Block. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I think this is just a minute blitz, right? Or cover three. Pressure comes and down he goes. Oh my god, those blitz are going fast as hell. I need him as the most slide right. So okay, answer answer me this easily. The person we I the person I ID as the mic is not gonna get blocked. So, okay, so I, I just don't get that. The person I'm telling my team, hey, this person absolutely needs to be blocked for the play to be successful is not getting blocked. Wait, I'm doing it again. They'll try and throw for it here. I can't get the ball off. Like I don't know what to do, guys. I'm getting screwed royally. Head scratcher there. And now goodness, possession's gonna go over right at the ten yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's just not open. It's just not open. Like why do I have to work my touchdowns? This dude just gets them for free. I have two zone knockouts right there, and not only do neither of them try to make contact with them or knock the ball out, their X is lit up, which means the game is recognizing their zone knockouts there, and also recognizing that it's refusing to let me use them. Like, how effed up is that?
after the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Oh my God, what a terrible start to a season, losing to someone who I'm better than. Like, there's no worse feeling in a game of Madden than that. Look at this terrible, terrible, but terrible, terrible defense is running. Well, you still play, it doesn't matter, you're gonna leave it open anyways. And he left it open, but sadly, the game will not let me release the ball out of my hand. Look, he just ran stupid idiot defense. So this catch, Mark Andrews waiting out fumble either. No, dude, I was one pass away to beating Omaha, and that's what's gonna happen. I, look, notice how I have zero respect for this dude. This. Let him have film study, ever, literally, literally letting him see my play and still dominate him. Okay. Yeah, Clark and Sam Adams, that's just great. Thank you. See, I don't even have his own knockout on Ed Reed and he's knocking it out. So why can't my like actual zone knockouts do it? He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Good play. And Jason Taylor's going for the strip for that. The team is going hard right now. That's my lead. Oh, I'm losing stop. I'm stop. I'm stop. I'm fading. I'm just going to go. Nope. He just throws some BS check down like it's wild and for absolutely zero reason. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Now a play fake here on first down. Like, look, did I see what I had to deal with? Not only is, like, why is the star lighting up if he is going to give him a zero, and I need a zero percent chance of knocking it out. Thank you. You act like that's not the play you literally just ran in the last play or something. I'm obviously going to know how to count it if you just ran the same exact play and everything. I play some unintelligent people. It's been good for his offense for the most part. So oh my god, I was so close to being blown on that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Inside the red zone here, they'll look Oh my god. That was cover three like I thought. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the twenty. Brings up second and ten at the fifty yard line. Now McNair. Looking in 
Should be a touchdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously not. Honestly, could have had a lot more if he would have been able to hold that one in. In fact, our statistician Marvin has already handed me a piece. I think this is gonna have to be a mess cut right here. He thought that catch was gonna happen just as you and I did as well. Damn it. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot. Field goal is, of course, the only play call here. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. We're still in this boys. Tucker's kick is we have a chance to take the lead if he's doing it. For this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh my god. Let's try and juke it outside of everybody. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. But oh my god, what a user error by him. I could be going. No. But still, that's a huge chunk of yardage right off the bat. Oh my god, dude, if I can get the catch again in and just get anything. I should know I would be knocked out anyways. I know he was already knocked out. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. They go with Edwards left. Gus, 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 Gus. Oh my god. What an effort. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. This is my play call. Let's see if it gets the job done. Looking to throw. McNair. Good freaking play, let's go. That is an extremely tight window on the on Callahan having his own knockout. A give for Edwards running right. I was gonna have a juke him out so I could save my broken tackle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know what? I'm just feeling like a lob to Carmichael right here. Back to throw. McNair. Yes, sir. Let's go. And I got eight minutes left to the finish the game. And the Lions have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Tucker with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now is I was hoping this uh, flat zone kill would knock that out. I saw it light up there, but just was Still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Knockout at least. Thank <laughs> you. Second down, but this time it's incomplete. Beautiful. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Yes, sir. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Oh my god. And the guy's running four verticals like I've never seen him before. They're gonna try and throw. He's running this play like I've never seen him. anyone run it before. Yes, sir. Lamb, but it's what a moron. Watch this. Film study is actually a blessing on this because if he's about to run, commit to the right, I'm gonna quickly flip to the left. And look, everyone's going to the right side. He's looking at half range right there as well. Wide open. I gotta get this one. I got five and a half minutes left. I need this game to go fast. Oh my god, look at the spin move. Oh, how am I not out of there? 
reach the five. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. Honestly, I feel like there's a way I could have turned that into a touchdown, but I don't know what it is. Maybe just ran straight at him and hoped for a quick broken tackle on him. Ha, ah, he has no film studies. I'm gonna actually run to the right. I haven't done that in like forever. And I think he indeed ran the wrong way. I don't know how I'm gonna finish with him in time. To a fourth quarter touchdown. Yes, and it's really and what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive Let's in pretty it. good shape up past the 30. Let's see, this dude was up 21 to 7, and I scored. Ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped 24 on end of answer points. And now they have to try and battle back from the two scores. And he is preforming that all the way to the sideline for zero units. It's going to be second down. I have to check this out. I'm going to press this dude into the third. Or this play. He ran to the other side. Wouldn't you get the fumble? Who's going to hang to the other side? No, I was a man of both of them. Look at that. Look at this play call. Boom. Nothing. Nothing. I think he'd like to run it to the wide side, basically. You idiot! 6-4, I'm getting that every time. Oh. And the Lions are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42. You know, I was really hoping he would leave because there's three minutes left. Oh, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams. There he goes. I'm grinding more clock. I have to. Yes, sir. That's it. That's beat. Wow, that was a tough one. That was even more close than the Super Bowl. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I thought this was going to be quick, but it ended up being a lot longer. But Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.